The country that today is called Cambodia is only a small piece from the great Khmer Empire. Thanks for visiting the Wellness Seeker channel. This video is an excerpt from the book Ancient and Traditional Healing Secrets of Southeast Asia. The link to buy this book can be found on the description. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell button for support this channel and get more videos about spirituality and wellness. from Sihanoukville to Phnom Penh, and later from Phnom Penh to Siem Reap. On the way, I changed a car, a minibus, and a boat. Finally, I found myself on a truck that was full of baggage, chickens, and for my company, I had two Cambodians that couldn't speak English at all. The CM Reap located 340 kilometers far from Phnom Penh. We stopped three times on the way for food, and after 12 hours, I was finally at my destination. Bagan, Ayutthaya, and Angkor Wat temples, were the top Buddhist centers in Southeast Asia. Angkor, is one of the most mysterious historical places on Earth. Angkor was never really lost. But for many years, the civilization of ancient Khmers was forgotten by the Cambodians. The country that today is called Cambodia is only a small piece from the great Khmer Empire. From the start of the 13th century, Khmers had complete control over the biggest part of Indochina. From the time of Jabaraman II, until the middle of the 15th century, the empire was famous with the name, Kingdom of Cambogia, or Kingdom of Funan. France rulers were the first Westerns that explored Angkor. Legends and stories were told about lost temples with gods and giants. After years of France minority brought to light the lost city of Angkor in 1819. Henry Mohat, a France naturalist and explorer, starts researches and restoration programs. Today, everybody knows that Angkor 
was the capital of the Khmer Empire. These restorations ended in 1968, when the War of Vietnam begins. The Hindu and Chinese influence are intense in Cambodia, and this is why Angkor has similarities with temples found in North India and Nepal. Today, archaeologists from all over the world protect and restore Angkor as many secrets of Khmer history still missing. The Kingdom of Funan was a Hindu kingdom. Without a doubt, the early Khmer kings worshipped Hindu gods, and many of the temples were dedicated to different Hindu divinities. The first Buddha statues in Angkor were built in the time of King Kaundanya, Jayavarman, as Mahayana Buddhism marked a radical change. transition from the Hindu religion, to Buddhism was gradual. Theravada, started in southern India, and Sri Lanka, and the teachings spread across Southeast Asia. Today, is the main religion in countries like Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos. Theravada in Southeast Asia, interacted with local traditions, like animism. Especially in Cambodia. Scholars often comment, on the relationship between doctrinal Theravada Buddhism, and animist practices. Beliefs in local superstitions, like spirits, fully continued. My tour in Encore, finished with the best way. On the top of the hills, you can watch, one of the most beautiful sunsets in the world. For me, the trip to Cambodia, was a trip back in time. A trip, where one of the biggest empires in Asia, was ruled for many years. This video, is an excerpt from the book, Ancient and Traditional Healing Secrets of Southeast Asia. The link to buy this book, can be found on the description. Southeast Asia. A place of extreme beauty and wilderness. The spiritual practices and philosophies of Hinduism and Theravada Buddhism have influenced the food, martial arts, and way of living. Herbs and medicinal parts of the plants used by many ethnic groups in Southeast Asia. For sure is one of the best destinations to visit for wellness, and natural therapies. As I lived in Southeast Asia for more than 15 years, this film is not just a documentary, is a life journey.